Good evening. Uh, tonight we're going to go take a ride along the uh, Liangba River in Beijing and then head downtown and for some city lights and stuff like that. Andrea, say hi. Hello. Yo, what's up? <laughs> so we're about ready to head out, but anyways, I'm going to give you guys a look. They've really fixed up the river in the last year or so, and it's lit up pretty nice. Lights all change colors. Water's all pretty. Beijing can be a very, very pretty place. downtown now uh, I just kind of want to give you guys an idea of what things look like around here we call this building here the pants I don't know if you can see why or not but there's these two buildings that are kind of together and that's that's the pants and then next year is the China World Tower phase three I'm pretty sure that's what it's called and then various other buildings around. We are basically right in the heart of downtown Beijing, right in the heart of the city. Beijing was spent in my apartment after spending the entire day driving around buying shit. Like bedding and pots and pans and all that crap. We went to Ikea. I, wait, what? Your first night Ikea was already here? Yeah. 20 years ago? Uh, 18 years ago. What? I thought Ikea was... Not not where it is now. It used to be on the Third Ring Road. We're biking into Tiananmen Square now. That's the National Museum on the left. Right there. A story. Like when I came here, before... No, I couldn't come before. After the party. But there was a few clubs down there in Jungle Man. Uh -huh. We used to walk all the way here. And then drink beer here in Canada. <laughs> I mean, like, if you sit down there, there was no fences or anything. You just go there and, and then enjoy the fun. <laughs> okay, folks. There. This is Tiananmen Square. That building there is Mao's Mausoleum. That's where they keep his body. 
And on the other side is one of the gates. And of course, to my right here is the Forbidden City, or what they call or the, the Imperial Palace, or what they call the Forbidden City. This one holds the gate of the heavenly peace. Yeah, this one right here, yeah. where the picture of Mao is, is called the Gate of Heavenly Peace. Well, you can not now and not from this side, but from the middle of the Forbidden City, you can actually ride, ride, go right through the middle on your bike at nighttime. During the daytime it's closed, but at nighttime you can ride right back down through the middle. So there, to my left, that or on your left there, is the Great Hall of the People. Yeah,拍拍拍拍照片的。我拍拍一张。哦，别停在这儿了。好好好，OK，好，不错了啊。不好意思。We're back from the ride and we sufficiently thawed out. As you could see, Beijing's a super bike friendly city and there's bike lanes on just about every road. However, being a city of 20 million people, you still gotta kinda watch out. Anyways, if you liked the video, like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that stuff. Look for more RV Cycle Chef videos in the future. And as always, keep the shiny side up, the rubber side down, eat like it's your last meal, and go out and see the world. Talk to you later, bye-bye.